This is the plaintiff, David Friedman. He says the defendant's his neighbor who lives directly under him in their apartment building. The crazy woman bangs on her ceiling with a broomstick handle to annoy him, and he can't take it anymore. The cops spoke to her, the landlord spoke to her, but she still bangs and bangs and bangs. He's here in the name of the law, suing for $100 for a noise complaint in the hopes that judge will scare this woman to be quiet. This is the defendant, Phyllis Small. She says the plaintiff is the troublemaker because he drills holes and bangs on the walls till two in the morning. The guy walks back and forth all night long, making noise. There's something wrong with him, and she doesn't owe him a penny. She's accused of being a nasty neighbor. The defendant has filed a counter suit for $100 for noise and aggravation. All parties. Please raise your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says his neighbor directly under him bangs on her ceilings at all hours of the day and night, and he's sick of it. But she says the plaintiff's impossible, drilling holes in the wall at 2 a.m. It's the case of she bangs, she bangs. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. Okay, on. Mr. Friedman, you live um, upstairs of Miss Small, correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right. And you've lived there for how long? 13 years. And you've lived there for how long? 10 months. 10 months. Um, do you have a one-year lease? Yes. Uh, do you know whether you're renewing? I'm not trying to, no, ma'am. You're, you're trying to not renew? Right. Okay, and why are you trying to not renew? It's problems in the not building. Not trying to, you have a right not right. to renew. But it's why are you not gonna renew? The problems in the building, you do not get any rest. It's not quiet, it's not peaceful. Okay. Now, that's interesting because you're here because according to you, she's not peaceful. She is banging on the ceiling. I don't know if she's using a, br a, a, broom or a broom or whatever, but she's been doing it since November of 2018. Have you called the police? Yes, Your Honor. And have they written any reports? They said it wasn't a criminal matter and that they'll... they'll uh, I mean, a noise said, complaint could be a criminal matter. What, were they listening? Did they hear it? Um, yes, Your Honor. And the day that they were there and they heard that, what time of the night was it? It was around 8.30. Did the police knock on your door? January 29th, yes. And what happened? They asked what was the noise about and there was a complaint from upstairs. Now, the complaint, he said I was banging so hard, I was hanging pictures at the time. And I said, it's 8.30. It's, day, you know, like just going into evening. You have until 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock. You know, were you hanging noise. pictures? Yes. Okay. Um, but how many pictures were you hanging? I was putting about three to four pictures up. That's it. And it wasn't an all-night thing just to hang pictures. Okay. What did they say to you? They said, well, if you two can't resolve this issue. Have you two ever met? No. No, Your Honor. So, David, meet Phyllis. Um, <laughs> now, David has some video that he would like me to listen to. Okay, um, what is that? I mean, is that you with a broom, boom, bang, bang? I never even heard such, no, I'm not even there half the time. Well, somebody's making noise from down below. That He has it on video, so right. what is that noise? I don't Do you know? know. No. When were those videos taken? That was taken um, middle of January. Is that when the police came there? It's before. It's before the police came? Yes, Your Honor. You know, people should have peace where they live. This is evidence of you banging. I know what the broom sounds like because I've had it done to me. Um, and I've done it, both. <laughs> you know, I've gone, hey, knock it off up there because that's the only way the, the person on top of me stops running and pounding on the floor. Um, and that, I mean, that's how it works. When I was like 12 years old, my mother, we came to New York to my grandmother's apartment. My mother and my grandmother went to a party that children were not 
welcome mat. They left me there, and that was fine. I was 12 years old. I was watching TV. By the time they came back, apparently the lady below thought I made too much noise walking. And that was the first time I ever heard the boom on the, on the floor, like bam, 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 like telling you to, to be quiet. And by the time my mother came into, the, and my grandmother re-entered the apartment, I was trembling on a bed. You hell hath no fury like a Latina mom. My <laughs> mother started to bam, 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 walking all over the floor for like 10 minutes because she couldn't believe someone had scared her baby. This is New York apartment living. I understand <laughs> that it can be very light. I am someone with a terrible noise sensitivity, okay? But I know the sound of the broom. Can me That's say a, something? I, I kind of think that he's noisy and that you're trying to shut him down sometimes. May I say something? Yeah, is he noisy? Yes, he stomps all the time, okay. like a kid, but look. Yeah, I can smell I this was, from a mile away. Yeah, but look, if I was to do it when I had to do it, I don't do it real slow, like you said, <laughs> bam, bam, bam. You make sure three times or so you hear this, not boom, boom. Where am I going with that? So at what time in the afternoon or evening does somebody have to stop drilling holes in an apartment wall when you have other neighbors? Well, you usually have a rule that you don't make. Well, but what, what, what's, the, what's the time? They usually don't? It's o'clock. You have small children. You put them to bed. You don't want somebody to Okay. What do you say? Yeah, 8 o'clock seems fair. Is 8 o'clock the time? Yeah, I'd say 8 o'clock. Okay. Uh, consensus down here going inside the courtroom. I have a letter from my super. You have a handwritten letter. It's not notarized. It is from the super, though, and uh, supposedly, assuming it to be believable. It's from the super who says he gets a lot of complaints about you and noise. Could I tell you something? Yeah. I asked when I got there and found out how the building was run, may I break the lease? They won't let me go. Folks, Your folks, Honor, folks. Hold on. Okay. Uh, what are you guys doing? I'm Don't just trying to get out of there and get some peace of mind. Here. No, but I'm seriously, how are we going to resolve this here on in? Because what everybody wants is not $100. What everybody wants is peace, right? Peace. Yes, Your Honor. Right. Well, how are we going to get some peace? She says that you're noisy. Um, my experience of why somebody bangs is because the person on top is noisy. Do, does your um, place have a rule about 80% covered with rugs or anything like that? No, Your Honor. Do you have area rugs? Yes, I do, Your Honor. Here's my legal rule. Cut it out. <laughs> Cut it out. You want peace, right? Yes, Your you Honor. You want peace, right? Yes. OK. I don't understand how anybody would want to live. The more noise you make, the more noise he would make. And the more noise he makes, the more noise you make. And you guys are driving each other crazy. And the problem that you have here is that you have zero evidence of the noise he makes other than my connected brain cells, which are that if someone's doing the broom, it's because they think you're making noise. Now, is she unreasonable? I don't know. Maybe she's too noise sensitive. Are you unreasonable? I have a, a couple of taps on a video. I got that for sure. I don't know. I'm not giving either of you a money judgment, but I'm giving you some really good advice. Try to live in peace with each other. You're nodding, but I know what that is. Try to live in peace with each other, OK? Try to be cognizant of the noise that you're making for each other. You have a landlord who I can't help but notice is not in the room to call as a witness. Because the landlord has washed his hands and it's like, you guys figure it out. Well, you need to explain to the landlord that if he doesn't, if he ends up re-renting to her, you're out. You understand? You That's have to true. get some leverage going because he's not getting involved like a landlord should. Yes, and there ought to be some action on the part of the landlord. So apparently, there are no letters from the landlord. There are no cease and desist from the landlord. There's no indication from the landlord that he's not going to re-rent to her. So she's saying she's going to leave, but she might not. So you better talk to the landlord and get some consideration from the landlord. You know what I mean? Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, Your Honor. So you got to talk to the landlord and say, hey, you do have a choice on whether you re-rent to her. You re-rent to her, I'm out. You got to give some leverage. You're a 12-year tenant. He wants you. Yes, Your Honor. He's not going to want her if what you're saying is true, right? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. That's my advice. Both of you, please respect each other as human beings and try to have some peace in your homes. Good luck, folks. Thank you. Well, this is very interesting. There was no money judgment entered in the case, just a lot of advice from the judge. Mr. Friedman, if you'll step right over here, 
What, what, do you, what do you think of what the judge just had to say to you? I respectfully disagree with the judge's decision. I did um, record her, and the police did come, and um, I felt like she was making noise and that it wasn't just everyday noise. Well, we all heard the banging. She yes. claims that wasn't her, though. Yes. So. That's, that was incorrect. And I feel like um, that she was in the wrong. Well, good luck to you. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. You're very, very welcome. Sign a few documents on your way out. Ms. Small, if you're about to re-rent this apartment, um, do you, you say you want to get out of there. Yes. Don't you think you'll be able to now? Your yes, lease is I coming will. up? Yes, sir. Yes. And that wasn't you banging on the roof? No. Ceiling? Will you leave? Are you going to leave? Oh, yes, I'm going to leave. As soon as the lease is up, I'm gone. All right. Well, good luck to you. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you. you very much. <laughs> That's a unique case. Harvey, what do you think? You know, the judge said at some point noise can be criminal, and it's true, and it all depends on the decibel levels. You know, at some point it constitutes a crime of disturbing the peace.